everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we have a little bit of Fireside. That smokiness of the lap song, as I always say. So good, guys. So good. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea. Maybe a cup of coffee. Hanging out. Talking tech. Talking photo. Talking video. Today is a audio day. <laughs> it's none of the above, right? It is audio. So I guess we would call it a video day because... We know that 80, 85% of video is audio. What I mean by that is that people will sit through a video that has really good audio and the video is not so good. But if the video is great, but the audio is absolute garbage, they will turn it off every single time. And that's why audio is so important. What I want to do today is I want to test out a couple of mics. You see these? These are wireless mics from two different companies. One is from Small Rig, and that looks like this. I'll just, maybe I'll bring it up close so you can see it. All right, it looks like that. I will spin it around like that. And right at the top, the tippy top, that's the microphone right here. Okay. And then there's another one, which is this Kamika. It looks like that. Very similar, right? Take a look at that, right? And then once again, right at the tippy top, you can see there's the mic. So they look almost identical. I mean, if you put them side by side, literally the size, the shape, the weight, they're, they're basically identical. That's what they feel like, at least. Now, audio, I don't know. We're going to do a couple of tests with both of these on, as you can see here. Once again, I have an RE20 running right here, but... I might not even use it for this video and just pull the audio from this because what happens is, is when I do these type of tests, people hear the RE20, which is the Electro Voice mic, a mic that was used for radio for decades and decades. So it has like a warm tone to it and it ends up throwing off what people are hearing with these mics because these mics are not going to be as good, obviously, to a radio mic. It's a big difference. There's no way to compare the two. It really wouldn't be fair to compare the two. So I might just use one of these during the entire show. So what I want to do is I want to read a couple of short ghost stories for you using these mics on, and you can see that they're in the exact same location, right, on each side, and I'm recording them through an H4N. One is coming in through channel one, and one is through channel two, and then we're going to break the audio apart, turn them both into stereo, and then listen to them. And then I want you to be the judge. Now, before we get into the short stories and compare audio, I want to say that if you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks as of yet, go check them out. Go over to jchristina.com forward slash books. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash books. If you like this video, even in the least, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click this little button over here. So when I go live or when a new video comes out, you'll be notified of it immediately. And also, if you just want to say thank you for my hard work on this channel, YouTube has provided us a thank you button right down here. Go ahead and hit that. If you don't want to hit that button, that's okay. Also, consider becoming a member of the channel. So let's get into these short stories. I just went on to Google and typed in short ghost stories and a few of these came up. So I'm going to read a couple of them to you and then we'll go take a look at the audio. So the first one is called The Puppy in the Basement. Mommy told me never to go into the basement, but I wanted to see what was making that noise. It kind of sounded like a puppy, and I wanted to see the puppy, so I opened the basement door and tiptoed down a bit. I didn't see a puppy, and then Mommy yanked me out of the basement and yelled at me. Mommy had never yelled at me before, and it made me sad, and I cried. Then Mommy told me never to go into the basement again, and she gave me a cookie. That made me feel better. So I didn't ask her why the boy in the basement was making noises like a puppy and why he had no hands or feet. <laughs> I like that one. That one's pretty good. Let's go ahead and read one more. Let's see. Let's just pick one. What is this one? There's someone under the bed. All right, let's see. It says a father is putting a young son to bed. I began tucking him into bed and he tells me, 
Daddy, check for monsters under my bed. I look underneath for his amusement and I see him, another him, under the bed, staring back at me, quivering and whispering, Daddy, there's somebody on my bed. <laughs> I love it. So good, so good. So that is the audio. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at it. And instead of using the normal audio editor that I would use, which is built into Blackmagic's DaVinci Resolve, I think what we'll do is just use Audacity. And the reason being is if you wanna play along here with me, um, you can use Audacity also because it is free. A lot of people don't know this, but that's probably one of the best, best programs for doing your own podcast or something. It is very, very super, super simple, and it's free. Once again, it's Audacity. Maybe I'll put a link down below. So let's go ahead and get this audio loaded in here and see what we see and hear what we hear, which is more important. All right, so this is Audacity. Let me go ahead and grab this file and drag it into here. Now, this is the file that has the entire beginning of this episode on there. So we're gonna to go to the very end where we do these readings. What we wanna do first is we wanna split track one and track two, because on track one, I have the Comica, on track two, I have the Small Rig. So let's go ahead and split this. So we're gonna come over here, click Split Stereo Track. So now we have track one and track two. Let's go ahead and name this so we don't confuse them. This will be track one, Comica. And then this one, we will rename track two, small rig. Okay, that makes it easy. So what we need to do is turn these two tracks into stereo tracks, because if not, we're only gonna hear our voice through one speaker or the other. So what we'll do is we'll take track two, hit control C, then go underneath it, hit control V. And we have these two tracks. Then we come to here, drop down and go to make stereo. So now this is a stereo track for track two, which is the small rig. Then we're gonna do the exact same procedure. We're gonna highlight this track, hit control C, then we'll hit control V and we have a copy of it. Then we'll pull this down and say, listen, make it into a stereo track for me. Perfect. So now we have track one at the top, which is the Comica and we have track two, which is the small rigs here. Now, what is interesting here is they look identical, don't they? I mean, literally identical. Let's go ahead and do a normalization on both tracks. So we can do this by highlighting both tracks and then go to effects and then come down to normalize. This sounds good, negative 0.5 dB. Let me hit okay, let it do its thing and there you go. And once again, now that they're larger and they're normalized and we can see things a little bit better, let me just expand both of these a little bit, make them slightly larger they still look really, like they look exact, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into this story. Let me see, is the story right around here? And instead of using the normal audio. So right about here is where we started the ghost story. So let me go ahead and do this, highlight all of this like that. And that's all we have to do is hit delete and it's gone. Super simple. That is one thing that's really nice about Audacity is it makes it really easy. So let's zoom in here to see the audio up and close and personal. And I believe right around here is where it starts. Let's see. So the first one is called The Puppy in the Basement. Yep, this is where it starts. So we will, continue, we will delete this off because we don't need it. And it's gonna begin right with the puppy in the basement. So I'm gonna play it first with the Comica and I'm gonna continue switching back and forth between the Comica and the small rigs and just soloing each track. Right now we're gonna solo Comica and I'm gonna hit play. So the first one's called The Puppy in the Basement. All right, so that Mommy is the Comica told me currently never playing. to go into the basement, but I wanted to see what was making that now noise. Now I'm gonna flip over to it small It kind of sounded like a puppy and I wanted to see the puppy, so I opened the basement door Very and similar. tiptoed down a bit. I didn't see a puppy. I'm gonna switch back and to the And then Comica. Mommy yanked me out of the basement and yelled at me. Mommy had never yelled at me before. I switched and back it made over to small me sad and I cried. Then Mommy told me never to go into the basement again. And she gave me I'll a switch cookie. back to comic That again. made me feel better. So I didn't ask her why the boy in the basement was and making I noises like a puppy and why he had no hands or feet.
And there you go. So that is the first story. I don't think I'm going to play the other one back. And the reason being is we already have heard this and I think we get a grasp of what's going on here. I would have to say, listening to it, even though the waveforms look nearly identical, what I seem to hear is that the Comica has a little bit more of a mid-range Whereas it's a little bit better, I would say, in the mid-range, whereas the small rig is pretty good on the upper range. But it sounds a little bit more muffled. Now that's to my ears. What do you guys hear? It just sounds that way to me. It seems like there's a little bit more depth to the voice with the Comica in comparison to the small rig. Now, remember, these things are tiny. You look at the mic on both of these, I mean, they are little, little, little mics, which is fine. I mean, they're probably about the size of a lavalier mic or something, a lapel mic, and they are close. So it's not like we're getting audio from something in the distance when the mic is tiny. Whereas like with a radio mic, you can be four or five inches away, six inches, a foot away, and you'll still get all of that information, let's say. And I do believe that this Comica is pulling out a little bit more information in the mid-range. What do you guys think once again? I would like to hear from you. I did this test because I feel the last time when I took a look at each one separately, even with the small rig, and I tried different things, it just didn't sound good. And uh, a lot of people said, oh, it's junk and this and that, and once again, you're comparing apples to oranges. And that's kind of my fault. Whenever I do audio reviews, I think it would behoove me to in the future not play or not use the big mic for the majority of the video and only use the mic that I'm reviewing or the multiple mics that I'm reviewing. Because as soon as you put an Electro Voice RE20 into the mix or any higher end radio mic, it just makes all other mics sound small or tinny or hollow. It just doesn't have the dynamics, period. So, but for what this is, something really lightweight like this, that you can just clip onto a shirt. Is this good for something that's run and gun? Remember, we have two of these that come. So you have two that come in the pack and you have a receiver. So these are the two transmitters and then you have a receiver on the other end. Now the receiver is being plugged into the H4N, like I said. So you have track one, track two, and that is it. So everything is identical. Neither of them are getting a benefit for any boost. Everything is dialed in to the exact same dB. As you can see here with the waveforms, they're identical. So it's really about the audio quality at this point, because we're using the exact same recorder, the same wires, the same everything. So what do you guys think? Down below in the description, I'm going to put a link to both of these. Bear in mind, the Comica that I have is not available in the US because this is the pro version. The other version that I will link is identical in sound. The only difference is this version allows you to record, you see the record button, internally to this without having to use the receiver. Got it? You can actually just use this, record into this, stick in a USB, download it, and you're done. You don't even need to send it back to a audio recorder or back to your camera. And that's what a lot of people do with these type of devices. Instead of recording them to an audio recorder like an H4N or an H1N or something like that, what they'll do is they'll put that receiver on the top of their camera and plug a wire from here into the camera and then that is their audio feed. So instead of using the mic on the camera, scratch audio and lining things up after the fact, it's already built into the track itself. They don't have to do anything. So it's kind of nice to be able to do this. It makes it super, super simple and there's no wires involved, right? Everything is wireless. I think it's 2.4 gigahertz or something like that. Anyways, once again, what do you think about these? Is it something that you're interested in? It definitely makes things a lot easier than having wires and or having a shotgun mic attached to the top of your camera. Because now with this type of setup, I can move three feet away from the camera 
or I can move 30 feet away from the camera. And since it is wireless, we're going to get the exact same audio sound no matter where I am. Whereas if you use like a shotgun mic at the top of your camera, you need to be in near proximity to it. If not, it's gonna sound like crap, right? With this, you don't need to do that. Also with these, you can plug in a lav mic. So if you don't wanna use that little tiny mic that's inside of the units themselves, right? And you wanna get a high-end mic for it, you can just plug it in right to the side and it'll still transmit that data over to the receiver. Same exact thing. So that's an option also. Anyways, links down below, go check them out if you're interested. If not, I hope you learned something today. I had fun with this. It was cool. I like the readings. I like all of this stuff. It's fun. Anyways, thank you so much for being here. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not as of yet. And, and head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. That's it, guys. I'm out of here for another vlog. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next one. No snap, no snap. I'm gonna use one of these mics, I think, for the audio for this entire video, like I said, and I might sweeten it up a little bit. Let me know what you think. I'll let you know which mic I ended up using in the description. That's it, guys. Take care.